So the issue with this type of footage is that there is a lot of wrinkles and shadows in this shot. So if I go to key it, I'm gonna lose a lot of this detail in my hair. So here is my trick on how to get the perfect key with only using native After Effects plugins. The thing to remember here is that we are keying out two colors, the primary green and the wrinkle and shadows color. So we're gonna add two separate key lights to key that out. So I'm gonna add key light and grab the shadows first. Then I'm gonna go over to the final result and change that to intermediate results so that we can restore that green. Then I'm going to duplicate that, reset it, and then grab that second green. So already we've been able to lose a lot of the green in the background and we didn't lose a lot of the hair and the details. The thing to note here is play around with the clip white to make sure that you restore some of that color back into your scene but don't do it too much, find the sweet spot. So when you're like, cool, love it, the hair is great, the detail's fine, but I still have problem areas over here. So the thing to remember here is that we need to work piece by piece. So I'm not gonna use the same composite that I do for my legs as I do for my hair. Cause yes, I could crush this all the way down and lose all of the majority of the green. But if I go back here, my hair looks a little messed up. So because I feel happy with my hair key, I'm not gonna mess with that anymore and I'm gonna work on the bottom with a completely separate layer. So I'm just going to mask out the top portion of my head that I feel happy with and then I'm going to key out the bottom half with a completely different key. So let's change this to bottom and reset this. I'm just going to get as much as I can out of this scene. Make sure that I don't lose the restore because as you see here, there's a little bit of that reflection on my leg. So I need to make sure that I don't lose that. So my key is good. We're good to go. No, um, my key is good. But the issue is that I still have all these dark shadows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to create a garbage mask for that. So I'm going to change this to Roto. And then I'm going to rotoscope this footage out and use it as a stencil. So it's okay if some of the green still shines through because we're just using it as a stencil for our main key. So let's just roughly get the color through. The main thing is making sure that these shadows that we weren't able to key out aren't in this roto. So let's get this shoe, shoelace, and let's get the bottom half of this outfit. We don't need to grab the hair because again, we already have that and we already feel happy with it. So let's just grab that portion. Okay, now let's roto this bad boy out. Okay, once you feel good with that, let's freeze it and then use this as a stencil. So now I'm going to use that as a mat. And now let's bring our top back in and look at that. We have been able to keep our leg details in along with the hair detail. So if you notice a little bit of this green that is popping in, what we could do is actually add a advanced spill suppressor. So this is going to change all the green that's in our scene and turn it into a gray color. So I actually use ultra instead and now all the green is gone. Look at that. And then obviously if you want to change some of the details on your roto, you totally can. Here we're just playing, you know, you want to adjust and make sure that you find the sweet spot in everything and make sure that it really fits to your liking. Obviously you want to avoid this as much as possible in production and not wait till post-production, but this is a great alternative for being able to do that. And what's great is that all the time that you get to save from not reshooting, you could watch some of my tutorials and uh, subscribe. So thank you so much for watching and let me know if you want to watch more of these. I'll make more, but yeah, thanks so much. Bye.